Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Who wrote the book of Revelation? John the Baptist John the Apostle Peter James The answer is John the Apostle Revelation Chapter 1, Verse 1 the book of Revelation was written by the Apostle John while he was exiled on the island of Patmos. John authored the Gospel of John and the three epistles of John. Question 2. Who was the first Gentile to be baptized in the New Testament? Onesimus Titus Philemon Cornelius The answer is Cornelius. Acts chapter 10, verses 44 to 48. Cornelius's baptism is significant because it marks a pivotal moment in the expansion of the early Christian church beyond its Jewish origins. Cornelius was a devout Gentile who feared God and prayed regularly. Question 3. What did Jesus instruct his disciples to do if a town did not welcome them? Perform miracles. Shake the dust off their feet. Preach louder. Pray for destruction. The answer is Shake the dust off their feet. Matthew chapter 10, verse 14. This action conveyed a message of warning and accountability to the people of that town. It signified the disciples' detachment from any responsibility for the consequences that might befall the town due to its rejection of the gospel. This instruction emphasized the disciples' role as messengers of God's kingdom, bearing witness to the truth regardless of the response they received. Question 4. Which letter did Paul write while imprisoned in Rome? Ephesians Philippians Colossians 1 Timothy The answer is Philippians. Philippians, chapter 1, verses 7 to 8. The letter is one of the Apostle Paul's four prison letters, which also include Ephesians, Colossians, and Philemon. Paul wrote Philippians to the church in Philippi, a city in Macedonia, during his imprisonment, expressing his gratitude for their support and encouragement and sharing his joy in Christ despite his circumstances. Question 5. Who was the husband of Priscilla, a couple known for their partnership in ministry with Paul? Silas Barnabas Aquila Timothy The answer is Aquila. Acts chapter 18, verse 2. Aquila and his wife Priscilla were a couple known for their partnership in ministry with Paul. They were tent makers by trade and are mentioned several times in the New Testament. They played a significant role in the early Christian community 
supporting Paul in his missionary journeys and contributing to the spread of the gospel. Question 6. What was the occupation of Matthew, Levi, before he became a disciple of Jesus? Fisherman Tax Collector Carpenter Shepherd The answer is Tax Collector Matthew chapter 9, verse 9 Matthew, also known as Levi, was a tax collector before Jesus called him to follow him. When Jesus encountered Matthew, he simply said, Follow me, and Matthew immediately got up and followed him. It demonstrates his willingness to leave behind a life of material gain and societal status to follow Jesus and become one of his disciples. Question 7. Who baptized the Ethiopian eunuch after explaining the scriptures to him? Philip Peter Andrew Paul The answer is Philip Acts chapter 8 verses 36 to 38 Philip, one of the early disciples of Jesus, is directed by an angel of the Lord to go south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. Philip encounters an Ethiopian eunuch who had been to Jerusalem to worship and was now returning, seated in his chariot, reading aloud from the book of Isaiah. Question 8. What was the name of the man who replaced Judas Iscariot as one of the twelve apostles? Titus Barnabas Silas Matthias The answer is Matthias Acts chapter 1 verse 26 after Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus and subsequently died, the remaining disciples felt the need to fill this vacancy. They nominated two men, Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justus, and Matthias, and then prayed for God to show them which of these two he had chosen to take up the apostolic ministry. Matthias was chosen to be numbered with the eleven apostles. Question 9 in the parable of the Good Samaritan, who passed by the injured man before the Samaritan helped him. A priest. A Levite. A Pharisee. A scribe. The answer is A Levite. Luke chapter 10, verses 31 to 32. A man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, was attacked by robbers, and left half dead by the side of the road. A priest going down the same road saw the man, but passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he saw the man, passed by on the other side as well. It was only a Samaritan who took pity on the injured man and paid for his care. Question 10. What did Jesus use to feed the multitude of 5,000 people? Ten loaves of bread and five fish. Seven loaves of bread and three fish. Five loaves of bread and two fish. Twelve loaves of bread and six fish. The answer is five loaves of bread and two fish. Matthew chapter 14, verses 15 to 21. 
Jesus used five loaves of bread and two fish to feed the multitude of 5,000 people. He blessed the food, broke it, and distributed it among the people, miraculously multiplying it so that everyone ate and was satisfied, with leftovers remaining. Question 11. Who was the high priest during the trial of Jesus? Caiaphas Annas Gamaliel Herod Antipas The answer is Caiaphas John chapter 18 verses 13 to 14 Caiaphas presided over the trial of Jesus, where false witnesses were brought forward to testify against him. Caiaphas also famously remarked that it was expedient for one man to die for the people, suggesting that Jesus should be put to death to prevent unrest among the people. Question 12. Which disciple betrayed Jesus with a kiss in the Garden of Gethsemane? John, Peter, James, Judas Iscariot. The answer is Judas Iscariot. Matthew chapter 26, verses 47 to 50. Judas, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, led a group of soldiers and religious leaders to the garden, where Jesus was praying with his disciples. He identified Jesus to them by greeting him with a kiss, which was a customary sign of friendship and respect in that cultural context. Question 13. Who said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died? Mary Magdalene, Martha, Lazarus, Thomas. The answer is Martha, John chapter 11, verse 21. These words were spoken by Martha, the sister of Lazarus to Jesus when he arrived in Bethany after Lazarus had died. This poignant declaration sets the stage for one of the most remarkable miracles recorded in the New Testament, Jesus' raising of Lazarus from the dead. Question 14. Which disciple famously doubted Jesus' resurrection until he saw and touched Jesus' wounds? John. Peter, Thomas, Andrew. The answer is Thomas, John chapter 20, verses 24 to 29. After Jesus appeared to the other disciples following his resurrection, Thomas expressed skepticism saying that he would not believe unless he saw the nail marks in Jesus' hands and put his finger into the wounds. Later, Jesus appeared to Thomas and invited him to touch his wounds. Question 15. Who was the Roman centurion who declared, Truly this man was the Son of God, after Jesus' crucifixion? Cornelius Longinus a centurion at the cross, Julius. The answer is Centurion at the cross, Mark chapter 15, verse 39. A Roman centurion at Jesus' cross declared, Truly this man was the Son of God. When Jesus breathed his last on the cross, there was darkness over the land, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. 
The centurion and those with him became convinced of Jesus' identity and exclaimed their acknowledgement. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.